Good morning, everybody. 657 ice baths in a row. It's 45. It's cold outside, guys. 45 degrees. The water is 42. Woo, Monday morning. Let's do it. Let's get in this ice bath. Start our week off. Doing something hard. Get that cold water, guys. It's amazing what it does for your body. <sighs> One benefit of doing things that are hard, there's a lot of benefits, is you build resilience. But I remember when I was younger, I was a long distance runner. I used to run a lot. <sighs> Ran track and cross country and that kind of thing. I remember one time in practice at cross country, there was one route in West Lynn, Oregon that we used to run from the high school down to West A, all the way down to where Zupans used to be. I don't think it's Zupans anymore. Up that hill, I think it's called Robinwood Hill, to Rosemont, then back to the high school and down Skyline from Rosemont. If you know that run, it's like between five and six miles, but it's the Robinwood Hill is really steep. It's a really steep hill and it's about a mile of the run is so steep it's hard to run and if you know what i'm talking about if you live in west lynn we used to run that hill weekly but it's so difficult but then the next stretch on rosemont i remember running with a group and going up that hill then when we got up the hill went down rosemont i had my first ever i'd run a lot at this point i ran in junior high i'd run a lot when i was even a kid but it was the first time i'd ever experienced runner's high like a real euphoria feeling of here's this it only came after suffering here's this amazing run we did it was very difficult you really suffered but then on the next flat for like the next couple miles i my heart rate lowered a lot considerably my breathing eased it felt like i was a machine i had a weird like out of body experience like i could just run like this forever like it wasn't hard anymore. All of a sudden it got really easy. And I picked up my pace considerably past a bunch of guys that were on the team. And I remember thinking, this is crazy. And I'd never experienced that before. And I rarely had experienced it since, like maybe two or three times ever in my life with all the running that I did, that I ever experienced a real runner's high where it's the uh, endocannabinoids. Look up endocannabinoids. They're kind of like uh, endorphins, but they're different but your brain can release these things and it dark chocolate releases them having an orgasm releases them running or doing something very difficult can release them just read read on these things it's amazing they cause calmness they lower your heart rate and your breathing they make you feel that euphoric feeling it's amazing and i've experienced that in running and it was only a few times however <laughs> And it was only after a really hard run. It wasn't like an easy one mile jog or it was like a difficult run that brought it out. But that's another benefit. Your body will overcome difficulty on its own if you put it through difficulty, right? So what are you going to do this week that is good for you, but also difficult? That's what you want to keep in mind. Let me know in the comments and make sure you do your strategy session this week. I want to see it. Strategy session, my health, my family, and my business. Those three things. I'm going to write in my journal this morning here. I've been reading this morning, but I haven't written yet. So I'll write in my journal, my plans. Make sure you have some plans, guys. Have an awesome day. I'll talk to you soon.